Hello everyone, uh, welcome back to Longland in Transport Fever 2. Yeah, so last time around we got iron ore being delivered to the uh, steel mills, right? So now we need to uh, get the steel going somewhere. Now the first thing I want to do is get steel delivered into here. Now, I've been thinking about it and uh, I'm... I've uh, pretty much uh, come to the conclusion that what I want to do is uh, bring the uh, the steel out of here. I'm going to drop it here, right? And then uh, I'm also going to have uh, this... Uh, uh oh, uh, we got... Uh, that's electric, isn't it? Huh. Uh, and then we've got uh, a steel over here that we need to bring in. And I think I'll bring that one down into here. Okay. And then I'll run a shuttle train back and forth. I think that that's, that's what I've decided I'm going to do. Whether it's a smart idea or not, it's what I'm going to do. Right. So that's going to require, uh, well, it's going to require adding a platform over here. And I don't think it has to be the full length of uh, this uh, existing platform. Um, I think probably a 320 uh, length is fine. Yeah. Um, yeah, that should be fine. Uh, so now we've got a, a platform there. And we're going to come up, we're going to come around... We're going to come around the mountain here and we're going to drop down over into here. And again, uh, well, we're going to need two more platforms here. So uh, I'm going to do again a 320 platform. Five, six, seven. Yeah. And I'm going to do two of them uh, because we need to have the uh, shuttle. Uh, the shuttle thing uh, down to the uh, other uh, location. So uh, this might actually allow us to do a uh, through train on a single line, but because of the unbalanced distances, I don't think that's going to actually be the best option, which is why I'm not doing that. Okay, so we have that. Now, I can go ahead and uh, uh, build some tracks here. Now, we need to come out of here. Uh, something like this. Now, uh, we need to... We need to... Oh, um, I think we want to go under here. Okay. So, so if I do this and we flatten that, I can get under with a tunnel there. Now, if I were to grab this and connect, aha, that will work. Not terribly fast, but it will work. And then this can come up. Uh, come on lock there we go it can come up like that now we can see if this can get around to here it can and here i think we'll just do an embankment yeah you know what that's gonna work okay so that's that connection um right good uh i think Think maybe just one train there? No, we're gonna need two train. Maybe no. I'll leave it as one track for now. And then this one needs to come down to here, um, which means it needs to basically follow this track down. So we can use the existing line. Uh, okay. Well, if we make this level come out like this do this yeah yeah we can do that 
and we can do this and we can do oh wow that's no that 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 just is wrong okay so we're going to come out here like that and then we're going to come out here yeah and then no then we're going to do this what then we're going to do this okay yeah that works um and then this can come up to here right and then we just need a well we're going to need a crossover of some kind i'll i should probably put a two-way crossover there yeah i uh, just like that and that gets us down here and then it gets us all the way down here where we can pull off a track and get into here now before i put the uh uh the um uh station in let's uh let's put up a road that allows um yeah that should allow connecting to all three of those, right? And then we go in here, we need a station, which is going to be a cargo station. And we'll make it 320. Uh, we're going to be delivering plastics and take... So let's, uh, let's check three platforms in here for now. Um, and now that will... And if I put this down here... Yeah, okay. That will give us a decent amount of uh, space here to uh, try and uh, connect this up, right? So if we come out of here a little bit straight, yeah. Um, right, now we need to uh, come out about... Well, I think we can just come out right about here. No. Uh, I think I'm just going to do it this way. Yeah, I'm just going to do it this way. Run this over like that. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do it that way. Uh, okay. Now, what does this mean? Uh, it means I'm going to... Uh, do this. Okay. Yeah. That's exactly what I'm going to do. Okay. Signals. Uh, I'm going to need a uh, one-way signal there. And we're going to definitely need a... Uh, we're going to need a... Uh, nope. We're going to need one of these. Nope. That. Yes. Good. Uh, and we're going to need this. And I think probably this. Okay. That will do that. But I think we're going to need an extra set of signals here. Yeah. Yeah, I think that would be smart. And then this will come up here. This will come up here. Um, this obviously needs to go here. And we'll obviously need a signal there and one here. Yeah. Okay. We'll do that. Uh, this is a single track up into there. I need a, I need a, uh, whatchamacallit, a, a depot. That, that's what it's called. It's called a depot. Um, this one could work. Yeah, that one could work. Okay. So that means I'm going to need to bring the steel from here to here. Okay. So we're going to need to buy a train. See, we've got electric trains now. We don't have diesel yet. Uh, right. Now, this guy, 1173, 228. 1150, 250. 
let's just keep going with this guy. Uh, cargo. Uh, we need steel. That's going to be a steak car. We're, no, we don't need naffies. Um, yeah, that's, that's a steak car. So... We'll start out with a, uh, a 10, 10 uh, wagon uh, consist here. Okay, and then we'll go new line, which will go from here to here. Yes. Okay. Yep. Uh, we're going to have an issue getting that to connect properly. Uh, because I did a Thinko. Uh, but this is going to be pork belly steel delivery. Yes. Okay. Now, um, I think perhaps I should uh, do this. Um, no, I don't need to, uh, but I should probably do this. Um, I think that's tolerable. Uh, right. Do that. Yeah, I think I'll, I'll do that. Uh, that will allow anything that pops up on uh, those platforms here, this this platform here, to uh, get off it and go in the right direction. Um, but I'm gonna need to put that there and uh, make this one two way. Yeah, uh, just like that. Uh, okay, so where's our, our newly uh, launched train? That's this one, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, so let's just um, let's just uh, have a uh, ride on here and uh, see how stuck we get. Right. Oh well, yeah, we have this really complicated track plan over here, don't we? Complicated track plans for the win, I suppose. Okay, this is further away than I thought it was. Got a messed up train our tunnel entrance back there. Huh. You know, there is uh, quite a bit of traffic on here and it's uh, kind of, uh, kind of works. That's more of a span than one might think would be appropriate though. That's an interesting, uh... you know, it's interesting when you get these uh, complicated networks going and then you ride a random train, you forget what's out there and then, then you're sitting there going, huh, I don't remember that. And that's just it. I don't remember some of this. Right. Um, where are we? Oh, wow. We're going around the long way. <laughs> right.
right. Yeah, I could get in there, but going around the long way, huh? Well, if it's going to go around the long way, we'll let it. Um, right. So, we come around this way. We can come around this way. We can come through here. And it should be... Oh, because it, if it goes around that way, it can get to the right platform. Ah, okay. Uh, we're going to buy another one of those. Uh, yep. And that's going to need a loco, which is going to be one of these these guys again. Uh, we're going to do a new line on that, and we're going to go from here to here. Can't connect all stations. Why? Because I didn't slip the switch. Is it? No. What? I didn't slip the switch down here. That'll be it, right? Yeah. That'll be it. Okay. Uh, okay, so this is the pork belly... Uh, Emerald City Steel Shuttle. Okay. Now, if we, uh, right, grab this. Steel Shuttle. Look at that. Where is that? Okay. Well, we got in the right place at least. So we stop and now we head on up to the other location. Good. Just want to see this going through that uh, uh, mess there. Uh, it should do okay. Oh, it's an autosave. Right, okay, so we're uh, ticking along up the hill here. Yeah, we might need some more signals along here to uh, uh, tighten up the uh, train spacing, but it's probably fine as it is, really, when you get down to it. Hmm. Okay, out onto the main line. And then on down to where the viaduct is and our fairly complicated uh, scheme here and then around here yeah yeah that uh, seems to have uh, set up okay and yep okay this will shuttle back and forth just fine Good. Now, uh, for this, where is this thing? Oh, we're coming down over here. Yeah, that really took a circuitous uh, path. Uh, okay, so it needs to come down here, it needs to come around here, it needs to come up here. Oh yeah, it'll get there. Okay. <laughs> right, yeah, it will definitely get there. It'll take a while, but it'll get there. Huh. Well, this is something that can take you by surprise with any uh, fairly well-connected network. Uh, you can get the uh, surprising pathing, right? Uh, right. Okay, so we're over here, right? What if we, what if we ride this for a bit? Uh, I'm not going to do the connection over to the other part just yet, because that's going to be a little more, uh, uh, involved, I think. 
I just want to see this train get where it's going, right? Uh, yeah. Uh, so this is uh, actually why I made this map, partly. Uh, it was... Uh, it have some space between the towns. But also to have uh, uh, some uh, long runs of track where the trains can just uh, tick along, right? Uh, it, you know, make it feel like there's countryside between the, uh, the uh, settlements and make it feel like there's even some, uh, some countryside uh, related to the, uh, the industries and everything, right? Uh, so we've got, uh, got some fairly... Uh, fairly long runs here where the trains can just tick along and this is going to look this is going to behave really really good when we get up to the modern diesels that have a lot more grunt to them uh, the modern diesels uh, and I think I'll stick with the diesels on on most of this the modern diesels have uh, have quite a bit of power and they they just uh, blast through this with no particular trouble at uh, you know 100k and, and it'll get where it's going, right? And uh, without too much hassle. And then the modern wagons, uh, you know, they, they uh, haul a little bit more. Might end up uh, throwing a few naffies on here. Uh, yeah. Uh, you know, on the, on the topic of naffies, uh, like you could do your entire game with just using naffies wagons. Uh uh, the, the thing about naffies is they're just basically they're basically uh, flat cars where you can stick anything on them. Now, you might think that's cheating, right? Uh, in that, uh, you know, well, how can you put uh, gravel on a uh, in, in, on a flat car, right? Well, it's not really cheating. It's uh, kind of analogous to container shipping like we have today. Uh, in the real world, right? Where uh, stuff that gets shoved into containers and then it can go from pillar to post by rail, sea, uh, you know, truck, uh, you know, like road, uh, and possibly even air, right? Uh, all in the container. And, uh, and guess, guess how the containers are transported on uh, rail? Uh, yeah, that's right, flat cars. So... Uh, yeah, it's uh, it's not really cheating, but it is kind of easy mode uh, insofar as there's an actual easy mode to versus hard mode for uh, uh, for Transport Fever Two, but it's kind of easy mode because you don't have to think about what uh, what your uh, drain consists can carry, right? Uh, but also even just by analogy with uh, with road vehicles in uh in the game uh where uh a lot of the uh the road vehicles carry everything so yeah you don't necessarily have to use a dump truck for uh for gravel type stuff you know uh things like that right uh so it's, it's exactly the same if you've got steel bins where you're uh, sticking your ore then uh why can't you load those onto a flat car you know just like you can load them onto a uh, wagon right And here we go. We are now uh, into our correct location with this train. And now we can start shuttling steel back and forth. And that's going to make some interesting uh, changes in the way things behave. Um, and I note uh, while we've been riding this train that there's been a little bit of stutter in the frame rate. So uh, it's all the cargo that's uh, tooling around. Like we added a boatload of cargo to the uh, pathfinding right when the uh, steel mills came online with all of the uh, the uh, iron ore and coal right uh, but here we go uh, we're picking up uh, we're picking up steel uh, we've got a Junkers F13 yeah and we picked up 120 steel and we're going to tick along over here we're going to drop off 120 steel over here, and then these guys will, will kick into gear and make machines and not deliver it anywhere, right? Right, okay, good. Uh, well, that uh, that's going to pretty much do it for this episode. So uh, I'm going to, you know, do the, the thing. 
you know, like, comment, subscribe, you know, whatever you like to do there. Or dislike if you prefer, you know, that that's cool too, right? Uh, and of course the bell thing may or may not give you some useful notifications. Um, and yeah, so, you know, whatever you do. Well, that's a million for uh, just that little hop on the steel there. So, yeah. Uh, right. So that's all for now. So see you back next time.